Welcome. This is the uh, sports cast with no name until we get a name. And today we have um, Dad, also known in the media family as Roni, and to others, Al. We also have uh, Mo from Mo House Media uh, joining us today. We're missing brother number four, who's celebrating his birthday with his family, but I'm sure he's going to probably join us tomorrow afternoon after the game. So today we really wanted to talk to my dad about the uh, game that we lost to the uh, Packers. We wanted to talk to you about that and also the uh, game that's going to go on tomorrow against the Seahawks. So dad, we'll start with you. Or did you even watch? No, <laughs> and I will not. We lost. No highlights at all? I see no highlights. We lost. Our running game didn't get going. Our defense failed us at the end. It, it, the DB. it happens. Right. That and you happens. don't give, you know, Aaron Rodgers time. And so, yeah. you know, hopefully they'll uh, correct it. We'll get some people healthy and we'll play better tomorrow. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, Seattle is not this big, bad uh, boogeyman. You know, they're beatable. We just saw that they're on a two-game losing streak. If We should extend it to three. Uh, Russell Wilson and and their receivers are scary. But, you know, oh, yeah, I think they're stoppable. Yeah. And on the yeah. other side, we should be – we should we should be improved – on offense. Uh, otherwise, I, I, I'd start thinking that maybe we got some issues. You know, Trey Sermon is not your uh, your speed back. He's more of a power back. But uh, Mitchell's still kind of dinged up. Maybe he can go. Maybe he can't. Uh, it doesn't matter, and it shouldn't matter. They should get that running game going at least uh, enough to keep the pressure off Jimmy. You know, of course, always the line has to block, uh, give him that time. You know, now, if the, I watched uh, the game and it looked like their goal with, with the Packers was to stop the run. So they stuffed our run. Exactly. And with basically telling us, Jimmy, you're going to have to beat us, which he was doing until the last, uh, you know, he did what he needed to do. But also I knew, like, if you watch uh, some of the highlights or the game, Aaron Rodgers was just launching it, just hoping for a P.I. Yep. And it and worked. And that's what he was getting. <laughs> it, and it worked. So yeah. that is a weakness that I'm sure Russell Wilson is going to try to exploit yep. uh, tomorrow. So hopefully uh, Kyle has some type of scheme to defend against that, because if we can't stop that, Every team is going to do the same thing. Right. That would be Demeco Ryan's, though, mm -hmm. who will have to come up with a scheme. Yeah. Uh, hopefully, Mosley is better. You know, uh, the farther he gets from that knee uh, uh, issue he's had. Uh, hopefully, Javon Kinlaw is up to, up to speed now because that was the other thing about uh, – from what I heard from last week was that uh, we didn't, and I've seen it the first couple of games, we're not stopping uh, the run on the other team. So we, they're running too much on us. Yeah. But hopefully Mosley is uh, better and, uh, you know, well, <laughs> hopefully the front seven is better so that we don't have to worry too much about the back. Yeah, but uh, they're that. still dinged up. Yeah, I've seen that in the previous games before Green Bay. I, I noticed that the running game, we couldn't stop the running game. They're running on it very easy. And then now combine that with yeah. the, our corners are bad. It's just our defense is looking kind of damaged right now. So they got to plug those that they are and fix that. Because if not, then it's going to be a long season, especially with this division looking the, the way it's looking, how competitive it's looking. We can't afford to lose this game. Tomorrow. Can't afford to lose them. Yeah, the uh, the defensive line is supposed to be our strength and our deepest mm -hmm. uh, position group. You know, they, they got to do what, what they, they do. Yeah. They got to yeah. do what wh – wh where's D. Ford been? He hasn't mm -hmm. been on the injured report. 
So apparently he's available, but he's totally disappeared the last two weeks. Well, he was he came in on the first. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, something, but he's he's missing in action right now. So, you know, the team in general has the talent. The coaching is good enough, you know, right now. I, I don't see any fatal flaws. You know, we can always second guess them, but they know mm-hmm. what they're doing. The players have to execute, and we just got to hope that, you know, the injured players uh, play better. And the ones who've been healthy and, and in there every week play better, you know, and up to yeah, their and capabilities. It, yeah, and uh, and you can't start off so slow like we did last week. And also, uh, Kyle did try different schemes. Like he tried to run, uh, he tried to run uh, running plays with Kittle and with Debo, uh, but they were trying to get to the edge, and uh, Green Bay did a good job of trying to stuff it. So they were trying different things uh, towards the end. Uh, Kittle and Debo were able to get some more yards doing, you know, yep. breaking it open with the run game. And it was too, you know, at the end, I think we would have gotten it. It was just uh, one of those Aaron Rodgers miracles and the DB. So uh, that's the end of talking about the Packers. Um, we wanted to now talk about um, Seattle. And you already spoke about their white receivers. Uh, what about their run game? What do you think about that? It's Dad? it's it's not dominating, and uh, you know, and they're a little dinged up. I think Penny's uh, dinged up one of their running backs. I don't really know a whole lot about their running game. Uh, you know uh, who they've mm-hmm. got there outside of Penny, but they uh, Seattle can beat you if you let them. That's what they are right now. They're not really good defensively. The offensive line is still shaky, but it's been that way, uh, you know, for a few years now. Yeah, and we should Seattle, be able to beat them. Yeah, with Seattle, when they gave uh, Russell Wilson that huge contract, you know, they had to sacrifice other positions. So right now, he's going through that struggle right now due to the fact that he has that large contract. Yeah, well, he he he, he carried him last year with that. That's the problem. That he has to, he has to keep, no. that, yeah, the fact that he has to carry them is going to be an issue. That's the problem. And we'll see how that works out. Because what do you think tackle. about like, technically? Technically, we should be able to uh, beat Seattle. You know, just going off paper, but we also have that mental block. When well, I don't know if it's mental. Uh, yeah, last year we would we were beat up. Let's say so we well, weren't the, the team lost, that yeah. beat them the year before. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So and, and and you know mental block, they beat them on that last play. They stopped them on yeah. the what the one inch line. So no, I don't think it's a mental block. It's a it's a it's a Rivalry. They have to be aware that you just can't come like they did last week. You can't start slow, and you can't let another team you beat your – your, right. <laughs> you know, uh, they, they didn't allow our defensive line to do what they do, and that shouldn't have happened against Green Bay, who had a third-string left tackle in there. You know, so everyone's got to play better. We know that they're capable of doing it. And that's to keep it as simple as possible. If everyone plays better tomorrow, we beat Seattle. And we beat them pretty handily. That's that's just the bottom line. If they allow Russell time, and if they, and that includes when he moves out of the pocket, if they allow him time, they'll pick us apart. You yeah, know, he's at that here. stage in his career where he knows that we're weak at and they know, and he knows how to exploit it. Yeah, What's that? Very aggressive, very aggressive. You got to make sure he does get comfortable and make sure he doesn't get to that point where he's just picking us apart and not give him enough yep. time to exploit our cornerbacks. So they may have to focus on just exactly crazy pressure on them. So he doesn't have time to get to those uh, quarterbacks that we're weak at. And not let them run. 
Yeah. The whole game don't let them run. You know, and that's that's it. We'll see what uh you know uh what type of coach Demeco Ryan's is. I mean, it's early on in his career as a, a coordinator, but he's got the, the the backfield, the defensive backfield that he has to uh juggle around and, and get some type of uh better performances out of them as a group, you know. And, and really we're we're not talking about the defensive secondary, we're talking about the cornerbacks. Because Jimmy Ward and uh, Tart, they're playing. They're playing good. They're they're playing, you know. But it's this literally the cornerbacks, you know. And now even Kawan Williams. Remember, I was speaking about him a couple of weeks ago, that he was the guy you hadn't heard anything about, but now he's out, you know. And that was a guy who was steadily, consistently doing his job out there. He was getting the job done. You was not wasn't hearing about uh, somebody catching balls on him constantly and and pass interference calls you know so he's going to be missed tomorrow and Mosley again if he's up to par you know and whoever else is on the other side you know uh I'll say it again the front seven's going to have to step it up yep that that's all there is to it crazy pressure they need you know and who, crazy pressure to him to Russell Westbrook. Yep. Russell uh, Wilson. Don't get yep. him we'll see. those corners. We'll see. And we need to make some big plays on offense. Like I said, we were missing the splash plays. We need more. We need more than just Debo and Kittle. And Kittle is dinged up. You know, and, and let's face it, get used to Kittle always being dinged up. Gronkowski, when he was at New England, what Always dinged up. Oh, Gronk's not playing today. Oh, Gronk's out for this, for that. The nature, the way that he plays, fulfill. and, you know, the fact that it's a tight end position, he's going to always be dinged up. That's why I'm glad he got his money now because he may not be uh, the same player uh, in three years, in two years for that matter. Yeah, the way he but plays. Hey, they, they, they know it. So no, have, but he's uh well he's all, almost he's not quite as big, but he's a big boy. Yeah, you know, and he knows that. That's why he got that that money contract. You and know, he, get it while you can hard. because uh, he he got to play. He, I forgot where it was, but he caught some ball and he hit some dude. He got man, he knocked that dude so far away after uh, that dude ran into him. I forgot what it he's was. Bull strong. Yeah, yeah, he's real mm-hmm. strong. But he's going to be dinged up, you know. Uh, that's why they wanted uh, some depth there. Think about all the different guys they were trying to get in there. So, uh, you know, Ayuk's got to step up. Little by little, you've seen Jimmy spread it around. I think last week it was by necessity. But that was his best week as far as spreading the ball to more than just a, a few oh, yeah. receivers. And you know. second and third multiple options he'll go through his reads yeah he did a great job last week you know the criticism i hear about him is that he can't throw the long ball accurately and yeah. uh he can't throw he, outside yeah. the numbers also you know. he has this little thing where he always turns around when he throws trying to avoid a hit and that's what caused that uh fumble because when if you watch him play he'll always and then turn around and when he does that, it's instinctive. When he does that and turn, that guy hit him and the ball fell out. It's like, a, cause I know he doesn't want to get, you know, hit. And he has that little thing he does. And that's and then that's when I stopped watching. Cause I was like, oh God, we don't have this. But then I came back and watched like, oh, we have another chance. And then he made up for that. So uh, even with that mistake, at least he tried to make up for it. Yeah, he was doing that during yeah. the Super Bowl. Yeah. I seen that during the Super Bowl when they're pressuring them. Yeah, he does. Go back on his oh. work. Like, oh, don't, oh, I don't yeah, if that's an issue, you would think so, uh, he would get coached uh, on that and they would have him, you know, that's more a, that's aware a of it. That he's not going to be able to yeah. change that because it's been two years yeah. I've been seeing if he gets If he gets decent pass protection, none of that matters. Mm-hmm. So those are plays that break down where protection broke down or the receivers are covered, you know, again, the correction to that is execute the play, mm-hmm. you know. We yeah. definitely have the, all the, 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 the players to, uh, to get it done. 
you know, they just got to put it all together and then start doing it consistently. Uh, you know, it's uh, going to be a battle, like you were saying earlier. Go ahead. Uh, what, yeah. I think, uh, we, you know, each week I always think we have a chance. So. Yana, uh, what's your opinion? I remember I brought up that Tom Brady, there's a story that Tom Brady wants to go to the 49ers that last year, but the 49ers didn't want him. He was trying to bring Wes Walker to the Niners and replace Garoppolo. So what's you and Yana's opinion on that? How would we have done with Didn't Tom happen. Brady? Didn't happen, so it doesn't matter. Yeah, they didn't want him. Would've, would've shoulda, coulda. Yeah, yeah. You're right. Would've, well, shoulda, coulda. You know Coulda, woulda, woulda, coulda, coulda, woulda. <laughs> yeah. It didn't happen, so it doesn't matter. You know, maybe it would have worked, maybe it would not have worked. You know, they totally redid Tampa Bay's. They totally built everything around him. They already had the basis for a good defense, and and they went out and spurred on free agency, and it paid off for him. You know, it's basically what the Rams did uh, the year they went to the Super Bowl when they signed all those free agents that are no longer there. Shoe, uh, I forget who the defensive back was. I mean, they were they were signing all the top free agents, and it it paid off almost until it paid off until the Super Bowl, and they you know fell short. Yep. With Tampa Bay, it worked. You know. But it's not a long-term uh, situation after this season. If not this season, you know, they weren't there for a title. They were for a, a dynasty, I'm sorry. They were there to win a Super Bowl. And now they're going to try to do it again, but different season, you know, and that doesn't always work. Would have hey, been nice. Eh. What do you think about that play that the Niners, they're down 17-0. And then it was a fourth down play. Instead of going for a field goal, they went and gave it to a Trey Lance, and they made a big play, which changed the game entirely, and that put the liners back on uh, track to win the game. That was a gutsy Great. play. Gutsy play. That if if it didn't work, it would have been the other thing they'd be criticizing them about. So I would have loved that. It worked though. Even if it didn't work, I would have been happy with it. Like, at least he tried it. Yeah. I like those plays because, you know, you just got to go for the big the big fish. And he did it. It worked out. If it didn't, I wouldn't criticize him. But I understand other people will criticize him. But this is what you got to do. If you're playing with the big boys, you're trying to be a Super Bowl winner. You got to make those type of plays. So I like that Cal Shanahan did that. You got to execute. Yep. That's right. You got to execute. Also, I, I mean, they had. we said it again. Go ahead. Also, I think with Bill Belichick, you know, at the end of the game, right, when he scored the touchdown to take the lead, uh, I thought and some, and I thought maybe we scored too soon, but I understand that you do got to score. But correct me if I'm wrong, I remember Bill Belichick did a play similar to that when he purposely – I think he purposely let a team score the touchdown so he could have enough time on the clock to drive uh, down and score again. Yeah, that happened. That happened in the Super Bowl with Green Bay and Denver also. Green Bay let Denver score uh, in hopes of, uh, get, you know, having time to come back. But it didn't work for them. <laughs> do you think we should have uh, – I know it's a tough thing. Do you think we should have maybe took our time to get into the end zone? I think if you got D Ford, Eric Armstead – Nick Bosa and Fred Warner, you should have stopped them. You shouldn't. 37 seconds. Yeah. Yeah. You know, that's what I. So, no. Right. I think that the defense should have been able to hold them. And they're going to, that's what they're going to have to do uh, in the future. Remember, th this was a tough game. It wasn't like we, we didn't lay down. You know, when we got down, they, we didn't, you know, get down. And we came back and took the lead. So uh, the week before, you know, that was a touch and go game, but we gutted it out. It was ugly, but we gutted it out. I had said it last week. These are the type of games, win or lose, that help you when it comes to playoff time or end of the season. You know, you got to go through those. Sometimes the things work out. Sometimes they don't. Last week it worked out. We made the plays necessary to lock it up. 
and our, and we were running enough, good enough. We weren't running great, but we were running good enough to uh, close them out. This week, it didn't have we didn't run the ball, which meant we didn't control the clock. Uh, we didn't get the pressure on Aaron Rodgers that we I thought we should have, and that I thought we would have, and it just didn't work. So it might be a, a game like that tomorrow. You know, it may come down to a, a last possession, and you just gotta you gotta make play. Playmakers gotta make plays. And we've got Bosa there that's a playmaker. Okay, we've got Fred. Yeah. You know, they they got to make plays when it, it, at that time. That's, that's just the bottom line. The guys that can do it need to do it, you know. All right. So, yeah. I have faith. You just need to stay in the hunt. Okay. Um, it's all. Oh, we got uh, Seattle tomorrow. And then next week we have the Cardinals. So, Tomorrow's a must win. We got to win tomorrow. Uh, it's getting tough. If we're going to stay in the in the hunt, that's right. Yep, every game counts. Arizona's right. under. Arizona and the Rams are both undefeated. So, you know, and they uh, Arizona. I I want to see them one more time. You yeah. know, because they we're probably should have lost out. that game last week, but they they pulled it out. Yep. Mm-hmm. So I'm not that afraid of them. I like to see them. You know, we'll get to see them tomorrow, and see what they do. I'm not going to be able to see the game until after it's over. Okay, mm-hmm. it's not on what here locally is, uh, again. One. One o'clock should be o'clock. one one what one fifteen one twenty whatever. Yeah, I try to get a workout in, then go get home just in time to watch it. Yeah, the Rams going to – Yeah, I don't know Rams, what I'm going to do tomorrow. The Rams may end up like they were that one year when they went undefeated for a long time, and they just fall off. Get, they get all this hype. Yeah, we'll see. They're going to get all it, this hype. It might not be. It, it, it's what we – all remember, Stafford was another quarterback that was rumored to be uh, – that the 49ers were interested in, you know, yeah. in the offseason. But uh, he's always been a good quarterback. He was just with Detroit. Detroit, Detroit, you yeah. know. Remember, two their two greatest players, their two Hall of Fame players, both quit in their prime mm-hmm. because yeah. they weren't ever winning. You know, Barry Sanders mm-hmm. and Megatron. You know, and Stafford was the same way. He was a good quarterback. You know, he didn't cause them to lose a lot. They yeah. just couldn't the win. Only, only the game. Mm-hmm. You know. Uh, they made the playoffs a couple of times. They just they haven't won one in like fifty years. <laughs> no, they've won one. They've only won one playoff game in like fifty years. So yeah. A, so you know, stable, but he, he a, he's with uh, McVay. He went from a dysfunctional family to a stable family. So now his full potential to shine. Well, again, he's up. They've only played two games. We'll see as the season goes because then the yep. pressure's on. Yep. yep. So I wish them. Uh, I wish them nothing but ill will. Yeah, <laughs> I wish them hell. So, uh, as far as I'm concerned, they're probably not getting enough pressure on him. I'm going to start watching a little bit more of their games. It's going to be hard, but I have to analyze our division and the same with uh, Arizona. Yep, they call it the best in the West. This division's the best. We knew it at the beginning that this was going to be, you know, the toughest uh, division. This ain't that. Who did the Rams beat? Who did the Rams beat last week? They beat. Oh, girl, they beat. We look. Super Bowl champions. They beat Tampa. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, yeah, that was a big victory right there. That That was a big win. That itself makes you say, okay, we better pay attention to them. Yeah, mm-hmm. you know that's again, a that's a good you know, win. Good win for them, but you know when you have Tom Brady, it's like just wait to the playoffs, then you'll see me. <laughs> yeah, I gotta get year, there. Last year wasn't looking good for him in certain moments. Then he made it. They ended up getting it done. But then again, the Niners weren't healthy last year, so they got an easy path to the Super Bowl. This year's gonna be different. Yeah. We'll see. This year it's not going to be so easy, Mr. Brady. <laughs> He's going to get some 
some headaches. You're going to get some 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 bruises, some boza, and we'll find out what's well, how many games to now how many uh I need to know how many NFC West games the Buccaneers play this year. Is it only two? Let's see. Isn't it two per division? Isn't that how they set the schedule? Let me see. Tampa Bay and who? Uh the NFC West teams. They played on uh twice two teams no. in the oh. NFC West and North. Or how if, does that work? Well, the way it works is every year there's certain Conf or divisions that you'll play. Mm -hmm. uh, this year, see, we playing. Are we playing Chicago? I, we're playing the NFC North. Yeah. This year, we're playing NFC North, and then it would be a AFC. Uh, I think it's AFC North because we're playing Indiana, yeah. Indianapolis. We're playing Detroit. Uh, uh, play Tennessee Detroit. Titans. Okay, NFC. Oh, oh, gosh. Right, so we're playing that division. That, that uh, is going to are we playing Houston? I don't think we play Houston. Let me look. I have it on my uh, screen. Well, then again, that's how it was during the year. Uh, no. The year we made to the Super Bowl, we had that. Tough we're playing schedule. the Jaguars. We play the Jaguars too. Yeah, and it looks like what years? Let me make sure this is the right. Yeah, line. so we're it playing the like the AFC. Uh, South and the yeah and the yeah. NFC North this year yeah oh no that's, Dad, that's how they do play, it we do play the Texans yeah that's what I say we play that whole the AFC South and we're playing the NFC North outside of our division so that's what eight games that's it those are the eight games outside of our conference. Yeah. So outside of Tennessee, Indianapolis, we have some easy games. We should, I just saw we play the Bengals we, as well. That's we play them too. Yeah. Okay. Are, those got to be easy pickums right there. Hmm. So Maybe it's not the AFC, AFC South then because they're with uh, they're NFC. They're AFC North. They're in the same yeah. uh, conference with Cleveland and. Pittsburgh and Baltimore. Mm -hmm. So what it looks like, it's north and it's uh, north and south. So AFC north and south, and NFC north and south. No, no, no. We're like. not playing Besides any our... NFC South teams. No. Well, yeah, we have uh, the Falcons. We do. Okay. Okay. So they, so we're playing the NFC North, the, well, their whole division, and then some other teams. Mm -hmm. Okay, but it's always eight out of out of conference. I mean, out of division yeah. games. Yeah. I know, but there's, there's, there's always at least part. one conference that I mean, one division that we'll play each year. Yeah, and it rotates. I know there's a certain uh, thing they do every year. So, That's all right. Cool. So, uh, anything you want to discuss in our final ten minutes? Yeah, what are the things that we could do that could. Uh, improve the corners that we're dealing with, the weaknesses there, like what can we do to help them out and, you know, make it, make sure that Russell Wilson isn't, need, you know, throwing for like 500 yards on us, having game of the week. And shit. Well, ha have them be healthy. And mm -hmm. let's face it, Dre Kirkpatrick and Josh Norman didn't go through training camp. You know, they're, they're veterans, but, you know, how comfortable are they in our scheme? things like that. So, you know, we need stability. And the thing is, the end, that's people don't think about it's not that say a cornerback like Josh Norman or, or whoever is trash is that a lot of times is that they're not, they don't, they're not comfortable in the scheme yet. Mm -hmm. And that takes a lot of repetition. You know, it's easier for a veteran to adapt and that's why they went after, you know, went after those guys when, when we got hit with the injuries. Remember when they first got here, they brought in Richard Sherman, you know, and Jason Verrett, although he got hurt again, but uh, they brought in Richard Sherman. You need a veteran back there to kind of, that knows what they're doing and has seen it all, you know. So they still need some, some time in the scheme. They'll, you'll see them get better 
if we get healthy. But as you go on, you'll see them get better than they are now. They won't. It won't be yeah. as bad as it was uh, this past week. You know. Yeah. So they're just launching yeah. for. PI. It's just a yeah. thing they got to work. They got to work through it. That's all. Remember when Indianapolis won uh, their Super Bowl year? How bad their defense was. Denver. That's when. Uh, Marshall broke uh, T.O.'s uh, single-game receiving record. They couldn't hold him. And Jay Cutler mm-hmm. just kept going to him, just kept going through him, caught something like 20 balls. You I know. remember that game. Yeah. So was milking. Yeah. <laughs> Uh-oh. Internet. just before the playoffs, and then they stepped it up, and all of a sudden their defense was making plays all, all over the place. But it was mainly Bob Sanders, you know. So sometimes one player can make a difference or a guy in there that knows what they're doing, you know. So it, it needs some familiarity, and we need a, a good uh, <laughs> level of talent, yeah. you know. Oh. In other words, say our prayers <laughs> that somehow miraculously our defensive uh, backfield gets better. All right. Uh, the rookie, I feel he's got great catch up speed. Like when he gets uh, beat on something, he'll chase you down. He doesn't give up. So the Lenore guy. So yeah, he just, just needs to throw. not get caught. I mean, and, get beat. And he also has to gain experience. He's a rookie. So I understand with him. I'm not upset with him. Yep. But I read he might be playing. Go ahead. I understand that it's just smart for the opposing team just to exploit it. So we would all do the same thing. That's right. That's right. But sometimes it works. 49ers started a uh, three rookies and went Mm -hmm. to the Super Bowl with them. Three rookies and a a safety that was uh, stocking shelves in the offseason. Yeah. You know? So... uh, yeah, it's getting pretty. Getting I pretty hope they get better. And also, our game plan we should win, so we should be in a good uh, position. But I want us to beat Seattle consistently to get that monkey off our back, because you know I still believe sometimes it's it's in their head. They play tight. Yeah. They play uh, Seattle. Yep. But they've all been. I mean, even uh, year before. They mm-hmm. beat us the first game, but remember that was an overtime game. That was a that was a really tight game. So it's not like they're dominating us. We're just you know it happens, and that's a good rivalry, you know. But mm-hmm. all things being equal, both teams being up there, we hold our own with them. Yeah. If they don't usually sweep us. It'll usually be one and one, and it's been that way since Harbaugh, you yeah. know. There was a couple of years where they beat us twice, but more often than not, those were one and ones, you know, home mm-hmm. and homes. We just couldn't beat them up there. Yeah. But uh, that- yeah, it, it might be, but we got a lot of younger players who haven't went through that, losing to them and getting yeah. swept outside of last year. So they don't know that. Yeah. No, if we play our game, we should win. That, that's bottom line. Yeah. You know, if everyone executes, yeah. they. So that's about it. Yeah, we, need, yeah, we just got to win the these division games. Those are key, and we have some easy games that should be easy games uh, outside our divisions that we should be able to pick up. But uh, I guess I'll be at work, so I'll just I'll end up just catching the tail end. So we'll, uh, Maurice will communicate with you if you want to join in the after game uh, show. All right. But yeah. I know you have to try to. Catch up stuff. Yeah. Well, I watch it on uh, replay. And that usually is about an hour, hour and a half after the game ends. Okay. So That's when I'll be able to watch later. it. All right. All right. Okay. Let me know. I'll let you know. Go right. Niners. All righty.